Hello crafty friends, it's Alicia of the Call Me Crafty Owl YouTube channel and in today's video I'm going to be showing you how I made these two slimline cards featuring the latest paper pumpkin kit. I hope you'll stick around and find out more. Thank you so much for stopping by today. If this is your first time to my channel, I hope that by the end of this video, you'll be inspired to click on that subscribe button below and maybe even tap on that bell for notifications. If you're already a subscriber and regular viewer, welcome back. I'm so glad that you're here again. I was super excited yesterday when the latest paper pumpkin kit showed up. I think it's going to be a fun one and I think it's going to make some neat alternatives. Since slimline cards are pretty popular right now, I thought I would try to make some using this month's kit. Today, I will actually be attempting to make two cards. I have a plan in my head and I hope that it comes to fruition. From the kit, I will be using two of these cards that come in the kit. I punched out one of the Ferris wheels one of each of the lanterns and then for now I got out one of each of the sentiment labels because I'm not sure yet what sentiment I'll put on these so what kind of label I need. I almost forgot I will also be using the Stampin' Spot. I got out the twine I think I'll use that and then I got out some of the self-adhesive stars. These are so pretty I love the shine on those. Now some things not from the kit since I am going to make slimline cards. I got out two pieces of white cardstock for my card bases and then I got out a scrap of black for some matting. I am going to attempt to stamp with Versamark and then emboss some stuff with this holographic embossing powder. Once I start the process I will go to a voiceover so if I leave you with any questions make sure to leave those in the comment section below and I'll get back to you just as soon as I can. Let's get crafty! To get started today, I pulled out my trimmer to do some cutting. The first thing I did was cut the two pieces of white cardstock at 7 inches wide and then I folded those so the finished card sizes are 3.5 by 8.5. Next, I pulled out the two postcards from the kit and cut those in half at 2 and 5 eighths inches. Now because the one edge was rounded and the other one wasn't, I cut these to two and a half inches wide and that just trimmed off those rounded edges. I wanted to have a small black border around my pattern paper pieces so I cut these two pieces of black cardstock that were two and three quarters inches wide by seven and three quarters inches tall. Once all of the pieces were cut, I then started to adhere the pattern papers onto those black mats. To have a nice solid pattern from top to bottom, I will be using the same color pieces from each of the cards. I wanted the place where the two pieces overlapped to be a little lower than center on the card. So for this reason, I adhered the bottom pattern paper piece first. The first slimline card that I'm going to decorate will be the one with the peachy background and I will be stamping the starburst image in the background and then heat embossing it with that holographic embossing powder that I showed you. You see there I did use my embossing buddy bag and that just helps the embossing powder stick only to where you want it. I stamped the firework or the starburst image in the background four times and after I stamped each one I went ahead and poured my powder over it. Once all of those were done, I then pulled in my heat tool to heat set that embossing powder. Now, normally I do this anyway, but especially on glittery embossing powders, I will heat the back a little bit to get that process started so that I don't bring my heat tool to the front and accidentally blow off the glitter before the embossing powder is set. I really like that little bit of shine that that embossing powder brings to the background. Next, I adhered this piece to the front of my slimline card base and then it was time to bring back in my Sizzix mat for a little bit more stamping. For this card, I'm going to be using the You Light Up My Life sentiment, but I wanted a little something in the background of this, so I inked up that firework or the starburst stamp, stamped it off twice on a scrap of paper, and then brought it over to my label. 
Now, when I ink up my sentiment and stamp it full strength, you'll still be able to see it, but there's a little extra color on that label. To make this label stretch a little farther, I brought in my Fiskars photo trimmer and sliced it in half. Once I figured out where I wanted my Ferris wheel piece to go, I set the top half of my label in there, and once I had it at a place where I wanted to adhere it, I put some adhesive on the back of it, and then I got out the foam dots so I could adhere the Ferris wheel. Now the kit comes with some mini Stampin' Dimensionals, but I already had some of those and some of the regular ones from previous kits in my stash. So I pulled those out, I added some of both sizes to the back of the Ferris wheel, and then placed that onto the card front. Because there was a little overhang, I got out my detail scissors and sliced that excess off. Once that was done, I got out the other half of my label, put some adhesive on the back, and then place that to where that top cutoff part would be hidden by the die cut. And finally, to add a little more sparkle to the card and to finish it off, I got out the adhesive stars from the paper pumpkin kit and added three to the front. Here's a look at the finished card. I'm going to start the second card by stamping the sentiment label. I chose the longer sentiment from this kit, the firework or the starburst, and then I chose the little starburst accent stamp. I wanted the firework again to be faint behind the sentiment, so I stamped that off twice and then stamped it where it was falling a little bit off the left of my sentiment tag. Once that was done, I inked up my sentiment and stamped that on their full strength. The sentiment on this card reads, Oh, the summer nights are all alight with everything magic and bright. To fill in some of the white space on the right side of the tag, I brought in that smaller starburst and stamped three of those onto the label. For the background on this card, I decided to try some white ink from close to my heart instead of using the holographic embossing powder. Now, if you're going to use white ink ever, this stuff is juicy. So you'll see that once I stamped these images, I brought out my heat tool and dried it a little bit, but it ended up still getting on my desktop even after I did this. So if you're going to use the white ink, always make sure to let it dry so you don't get ink all over yourself and other pieces of your card. For a little accent behind my sentiment label and to help kind of cover up where the two pattern pieces meet, I brought in my little flag punch and I punched two of those out of a scrap of black cardstock. Once I had those punched out, I added a little adhesive to the back of each one and placed those on either side of the pattern paper piece. This piece then got adhered to the front center of my slimline card base. Next, I got out the navy blue twine from the kit and I cut myself about 7 inches. I knotted the left end of this and then I pulled out three of the lanterns from the kit and strung each of those from the twine by the handles. I then added two of the mini dimensionals to the back of each lantern, and then I arranged those on the card front where I thought they would look nice. Once I had those in place, I got out the mini glue dots from the kit so that I could adhere the knots from the twine to those. You'll notice that I put one on the left of the card, and then I put one in the top right corner. I made another knot in the twine to adhere to the second glue dot, and then I cut off the excess twine from the end. To adhere my sentiment tag to the card front, I got out some scraps of my Stampin' Up! dimensionals and placed a couple strips of foam on the back. Once I pulled that release paper, I centered this left to right on the card front. To finish this card off, I pulled out some clear gems from my stashed. I placed three of the smallest ones in the center of each of the accent starbursts on the sentiment label, and then I placed another three in the background of the card. Here's a look at the finished piece.
I hope you enjoyed getting to see how I made the two cards today. As always, if you did, I appreciate a thumbs up. I'll be by over the next few days to share a couple more alternatives with you. So again, if you're not already subscribed, I hope you'll do that. Until my next video, I hope you're having a crafty day. Bye-bye. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch all the way to the end of the video. I hope now you'll consider clicking on one of the videos or playlists I have linked above. And if you're interested in any of the products or tools I used in today's video, I do have some links in the description box.